Um, hello everyone. So the aim of this video is that I have a character here which I am uh, animating to crouch using the usual uh, animator controller and animation settings. Uh, so this is a this is the character, and if I press Control, you can see that the crouch animation plays. However, the problem is uh, my character also has a box collider which I put in and that box collider does not change with the animation so even though the animation crouches the box collider remains the same size which it should not be so if i were to want this character to go under something uh, the collider will still remain as if the player is standing um, i tried to uh, find a solution for it and after a while i actually found it so the solution is that uh, we can first observe that to make the collider change uh, and make it as if the player is crouching we need to modify only two values if you look here it's just the box collider 2d offset y and size y these are the two values that are being changed um, either if you see in the end the collider value should be this and in the beginning the collider values should be this one way is that you can write the script and when the animation is playing you can just change these values that time however there is an easier way to do this so what we will do is we will select our we'll open the animation window and select our animation so now this is my crouch animation if i play it and click on the player you can see that this is how the animation goes basically the animation is all about uh, going from this to this to this to this and in the end back to from back from where we started what i am going to do is not just change the sprite so if you see here it's saying during this animation change the sprite property i will say also change when this animation is playing something called so this is i am doing by add property I want to change the box collider so i want to change as you saw the offset and i also want to change the size of the box collider so because we are on the first keyframe uh, these are the values that are in the beginning and because i have not modified anything if i go to the end the values are still the same However, let me just uh, make these values, let's say 1, 1, 1, and 1. So now if you see in the beginning, these are the values. In the end, these are the values. And when we are playing this animation in the throughout, the uh, unity is actually guessing or approximating the values in the middle. So if I want, what I can do is I can say, okay, when my crow, when my character crouches, I will note down these values and then copy paste these values here. So I think uh, because I pressed control C, these are already uh, copied. However, I will press control C because this is for the beginning. I will go towards the end and now I can edit and you know put in the correct values or find out what are the correct values are and then put in those instead of one 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 but uh, let me just do this again so I will delete all of these and in the end uh, what I am going to do is I will not guess but I will make unity record these values so I will go here uh, press record and now unity will see that the final values should be this um, yeah so if you see now these are the values in the beginning and these are the values in the end and the middle ones are just being guessed by unity uh, which is pretty good at guessing so if i press play and go to my player um, now if i press con uh, control the player crouches and even the 
collider reduces its size. We can also do this more, uh, like we can fine tune this more again by selecting uh, the animation. I will go to crouch again, and if you see, um, let me focus on the player. Yeah, if you see when the player is here, the collider is a little bit at the top. So here the unity, the guessing of unity is not that precise. So I will again press record and say it should be here. Now unity knows exactly uh, how much should the collider be at 0 0.05 and 0 0.00 and in the middle it is gonna guess. And then if you see this animation, this is pretty good approximation. There is a point where here we that is not that uh, accurate. So let me just do it again. So I will say it should be here. And now the unity will approximate the rest. Yeah, so this is how you can change a collider while an animation is playing such as crouch and do it at random.